morning so i woke up we woke up and it was like five degrees cold but um today we're going to barossa it's an hour drive from home and we checked the weather and it's gonna be 15 degrees max that's not too bad right yeah pretty good yes so we're having wine tastings and we're going to barossa chateau for high tea with friends so yeah we'll show you around drink some wine have some cheese and we're also going to stay overnight so we're really excited because we've been busy i mean he's been busy he's been busy <laughs> too early for me to speak English. Can I just speak my language? <laughs> Anyways, yeah. We're excited and we'll show you... I don't know what to say.
start up, guys. <laughs> overlapping. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ayan, baka... Maris, oh pwede ikaw na lang yung magsalita kasi napapagod na ako. <laughs> ah, sige, hindi na lang ako magtagalog. Taki kami, Aura, na Barosa siya too. <laughs> Desambuanga yun. <laughs> Desambuanga. STL, de Cebu. Cebu, Pampanga. Diba? Uy, actually, it's Luzon. Visayas and Mindanao! Woohoo! Did you bring any talk with last time? Diri, wala. Ah, Barosa, pero dili, Diri. So guys, usually may mga roses, pero winter, so dead silang lahat. Ayan. So, ito yung front ng Barosa Chateau. Ayan. E, Wednesday ngayon. So, wala masyadong tao, di ba? Ayan. So, guys, if you wanna go, go on a weekday. Good morning! Say good morning! My name's Holly! <laughs> Ayan, natutuwa siya sa water. Ayan. It would have probably been nicer if there were roses, but that's alright. I have good company, the sun is up, so I can't complain. Yeah, and pupunta lang kami sa park. Kasi 11.15 yung booking namin. Nakakatuwa guys kasi, the sun is out! Ito guys, pag may mga jowa kayong puti, kailangan tuwaan nyo siya. Tuwaan nyo. Ano ba yan? Tuwaan nyo. Oo, kasi struggle talaga sa amin to eh. Yeah, near that um, greenhouse. Like, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're going to have high tea now. So here they have like a mini gallery where they sell art. We're having the free tour. Oh, okay. Ready? So in this room, there's a lot of European antiques. Looks so pretty. And that. And the mirror. So here we have our savories. From top to bottom, I think we have some beetroot deep in a cracker. We have a frittata. We have the salmon on cucumber. We also have chicken and egg sandwiches. So with the high tea, you get savories and sweets. So we're having the savory at the moment. And then they also served coffee or tea. 
I think for the coffee, the first rounds of barista coffee, like the proper espresso coffee machine, and then later on you have to pay extra, or if you're happy, you can they can just give you a pot of coffee. And now we have the desserts, the sweets, of course. We have scones and jam and cream, as well as brownies. And I think that's like a mandarin tart. We have strawberries. We have like cookies with cherry on top. And I think the other one's like a rhubarb. They're all so good, guys. So if you guys are wondering where or how did Haiti started, it started in the 1700s from the British. They usually eat this in the afternoon at 3 to 4 o'clock. It's like a merienda for the Filipinos. And served with tea. Or some people likes coffee, so they also added the coffee. And yeah, you can also bring your kids with you guys. It's like a kid-friendly atmosphere by the way guys for people here in south australia if you want to try a high tea somewhere in barossa just go to google type it groupon they have a lot of deals just type in barossa chateau and there you'll see all their deals you can just choose it depends how many are coming they also have premium premium high tea and then i think it comes with some bubbles anyways guys i have um, a vlog that I'm going to be posting soon. It's like the continuation of my Barossa trip. I'm gonna show you the wineries that I went to and as well as the place where we stayed. They're all affordable and all budgeted. So yeah, please wait for that video and thanks for watching.